Hey, good evening, viewers. It is TVB. I'm here today with special guest, Anna. Hello. And we, this is our first episode of Far Cry 6. Let's play Far Cry 6. That is, and I owe you guys an apology. I just got a new laptop, a new MacBook Pro, because my old one died. And uh, I got it, and it doesn't have um, the, the built-in USB ports, so I had to get adapters for it. And unfortunately, my Elgato HD capture card's not fully compatible with, uh, with the new software. So like the, the, my new MacBook Pro doesn't recognize, with the M1 chip, doesn't recognize uh, the Elgato capture card that I use. And I, we even called, like, the support services. Yeah. And they said, like, oh, yeah, so with your laptop, it might recognize the gameplay, but not the audio, or vice versa. So my deepest apologies for not making this a live commentary, for not, like, having any, like, game audio in this video. Where there's a will, there's a way. I will figure something <laughs> out. Hopefully without having to spend God knows how much, how many more dollars on a new capture yeah. card. But yeah, this is the first episode of my Far Cry 6 Let's Play, and I really want to thank you guys so much. This past Thursday, my first YouTube video, the day Far Cry 6 was released actually, turned 8 years old, Scary Insect. I don't know if you've watched that, Anna, but like, it was a video I filmed with my family in Lithuania when I was like 8. My I have dad not seen it. Okay, my dad is just filming about like White Oaks or some shit, mm -hmm. and... Uh, like eight year old me starts to freak out because a little insect lands on me. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm like, you know, it's a scary insect. <laughs> and uh, it's. Did you so ever figure I, out what it was? I don't. It was a fly. Some it, sort of fly. From like when I was a kid, it was green with like three eyes. What the fuck? I, it looked like that at least, but it was. <laughs> and my dad's like, they toss what the fly, and I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Yeah, but that video turned eight years old the other day. So that's nuts. The past eight years truly have been the best eight years of my life. The best years of my life making YouTube videos. And by the way, I met Anna through uh, our summer class. Yeah. Yeah. The vertebrate biology. That was, that was a hectic but rewarding eight weeks. Yeah, it was kind of a bullshit class, but we got through it. Yeah, we had to take it so we can graduate. Yeah, and uh, classes this October, I don't know about you, my October's going to be super busy. Oh, yeah. my I've got... Uh... A lot, like five billion tests in biochemistry that I'm working on. That I I'm so scared of this class. <laughs> yeah, I changed majors to avoid chemistry. I'm an English major, but zoology minor, so I can take biology classes without chemistry and math classes. Yeah, well, lucky. <laughs> yeah, so Far Cry has been a huge part of my channel since 2015. I, Far Cry 4 was released in 2014, which is honestly one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, I started my Let's Play for that in 2015. That what Let's Play went on, you know, and I ended that in January 2016. And Far Cry Primal came out that year. And Far Cry 5 came out in 2018, you know, when I was a freshman here at CSU. And then Far Cry New Dawn came out a year later. So, yeah, we haven't gotten a new Far Cry game in two and a half years. And here we are now playing as Danny Royas and, ya and, and Yara. And I could have played as a male character, but I chose to play as a female character. Because it, not, not only have I never done that before in any of my Far Cry Let's Plays, but, uh, like, this is the first Far Cry to have third-person cutscenes and have a non-silent protagonist. So, if it's gonna be, like, if, if I'm gonna have to hear my character speaking and see my character in cutscenes, might as well be a character that I enjoy watching. Yeah, at. right? <laughs> and, listen, and listening to, like, ooh, the, the Latin accent is yeah. very, very nice. And, yeah, so... Gameplay so far, I mean, it's it definitely feels like Far Cry. I mean, people complain. I I heard some people complain about Far Cry Five. It's like, oh, it feels too much like old Far Cry. It's like no franchise ever gets a break. It's people also like, oh, Call of Duty sucks. It's the same game every year. And then, but like the same the same thing can be said about like every franchise when yeah. you think about it. I can't really compare because I've never played a Far Cry game, and this was like one of my first exposures to Far Cry. Um, so as far as I can see, yeah, for like. I, I was mostly just interested in some of the online content about the fact that you could interact with so many different weird types of animals. So that's what got me excited about when we got some of the near some of the first missions in this game when it was more open world. That was cool. Oh, this part right here. 
What are you busting down? Yeah. Your <laughs> soldiers, soldiers, the Just terrorists. harassing the shit out of this like, family. Sorry, we're not terrorists. <laughs> I'm not a terrorist, I promise. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just gonna take one cookie. I'm not here to steal your weed, ma'am. <laughs> I'm just here to take one like little chocolate chip cookie and just you know. I'm nice just day. baked and hungry, so hungry. Please help me. <laughs> you know, Far Cry games have a history of getting you high. If you've played Far Cry Four and seen the Shangri La missions, or the mission in Far Cry Three where uh, you do a certain someone somethings or something. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I never played Far Cry 3, actually. I just watched someone's Let's Play for it, and I was like, yo, this game is so <laughs> cool. Because, you know, animals. Yes. Just hunting animals, and it's a shooting yeah, game, it's, it's open world, and there's lots of animals running around. Is Far it's Cry like... 3 the one with the where you play as a caveman? No, that's Primal. Oh, Primal. I thought that that, that idea is so cool. Just ooga booga to the max. <laughs> yeah, I get There's a lot of people who don't like Far Cry Primal. I am not one of those people. I think that's the most underrated game of 2016. I don't know, it just sounds fun. Oh yeah, and you can like tame like all the Ice Age animals. Like the predators though. Like you, you there's like a perk where you can't tame a rhino though, sadly. If there's ever a Far Cry Primal Oh, here's the thing, viewers, we're not gonna bore you with cutscenes. We just yeah. cut them all out. If you want cutscenes, like watch the Rad Brad's Let's Play for it, I guess. <laughs> There's more of a discussion yeah, video. Not, yeah, this is more of like a first impressions kind yeah. of video and uh so oh, like uh, th it's not every Far Cry game like you play as someone, and then, like, one of your, like, companions dies. I guess this is their tradition. Like, as Far Cry 3, you play as, like, uh, Jason, and his brother Grant is just mowed down right in front of him. Far Cry 4, <laughs> dark hand, poor guy, like, has gets taste to the nipples after interrupting <laughs> the dinner with pagan men. And Far Cry Primal is, like, a saber-toothed cat chases you and one of your fellow hunters off a cliff, and he dies in mm -hmm. the fall. And Far Cry 5, uh, someone gets kidnapped, I don't recall who exactly uh but new dawn it's same same shtick pretty much i like this like fucking drug lord is just like no child you are going to be a drug lord and you are gonna love it i think the kid diego i, I could be wrong with this but i think he's voiced by anthony gonzalez which uh who also voices miguel and coco the pixar movie that came out uh, back in 2017. I was he was awesome in that movie. Like I loved Coco. It yeah, was so good. That movie, even as a white American, made me so proud of Mexican culture. It's just such a pretty movie with such a, like gorgeous visuals. Oh, I think, Speaking uh, of visuals, like this game, awesome visuals. Yeah, uh, like that, Ubisoft's always had a knack for that. It's like Far Cry. Yeah, it looks realistic, but always has a distinctive flair to their graphics. Yeah. And this is, coming up is where we, uh, so yeah, that's me trying out the camera. And we, I got the pistol, it's empty, but this is, one of my favorite parts of Far Cry are the melee mechanics, like takedowns and like stabbing dudes. <laughs> I, 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 it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot of melee weapons in this game, which sad, which saddens me, but it's like, look, I just yoink the guy over He's there. Like, yeah, what happened? <laughs> hey, what happened? And his friend's up there just... Staring into the distance. Nobody, does not they don't even, even care. Notice. I'm like, this is just too easy. Shank. Nope. <laughs> Shank. And the minute takedown's more brutal as well. It's like, oof. Parents yep. don't let your kids play this game. <laughs> I like the guy who's just staring at the box that's coming up. Oh yeah, this is where I showed Anna you can carry people's bodies. Yeah, and I was like, why would you need to do that? Like, wouldn't that just be a huge alert to other people? <laughs> yeah, so I loot the bag right here and yeah like you said this game looks the, the the graphics are very well put together and uh these guys are staring at the box it's like he's taking a dump almost I know. and it's like sorry to interpret dumping but you must die i didn't remember that you just fell right on the box yeah so i got the pants in he was admiring the pants what he was doing <laughs> Yeah, so right here I open up the inventory and it says like, excuse me, it's going to say refugee jeans. Here's the thing, I hate wearing jeans. I don't know, I, I got I got sick of jeans in middle school. I, I wore jeans all the time back then. I got, I got sick, of, sick of jeans. Oh, here's the piggy. <gasps> pig! I got so excited when I saw this pig because it was like the first animal besides a crab that we'd seen. And then it just attacks us. And then, yeah, it, we got too close and it just decided to beat the crap out of us. I was like, thanks, yeah, pig. Yeah, have been known to kill jaguars. They kill people. They're yeah. mean. Oh, yeah. That's what they got them tusks for. Mm -hmm. so they can stab you. 
Yeah, but jeans, like, I had to get, like, two pairs of jeans, though, for my job at Dogtopia. Because that's just workplace uniforms. So, like, ah, uh, okay, you know, I got a job, so I can't complain. <laughs> yeah, I, it's just, like, it's a weird thing where I hate the way jeans look on me, but I love the way they look on ladies. I hate the way jeans feel. I, like, I wear jeggings yeah. because I'm a, like, 30-year-old lady, I guess. 30-year-old Karen that wears jeggings. Yeah, so we, cut, we cut out another cutscene, and this is where we're going, going to meet, off Ho- meet Juan. Juan and his Juan wonderful memes. pet. Yeah, all the Juan memes are like that random Mexican horse just sitting on a balcony. I have no idea I like, love what that, that meme. meme was about, but it was funny. I like the one that's the... It's just a horse in the middle of nowhere, and it just says, man. <laughs> <laughs> it man. Or the one the... The, uh, the the Mexican guy saying adio as he's like <laughs> exiting the portal or like the the polar bear spe- poking his nose being bonjour <laughs> bonjour <laughs> yeah there's like a lot of potential that like the Far Cries have it's like if there's ever a Far Cry primal sequel it needs to be in Southern California because the first Far Cry was set in Central Europe and uh, Far Cry uh, in, in Southern California during the Ice Age with La Brea Tar Pits was like a megafauna mosh pit. Oh, yes. Pit. Like, Imagine if, having megafauna mounts, man. Yeah, no, like, if if they ever do, like, a Far Cry Primal in Southern California, they better let us ride giant ground sloths. Yes. Yeah, I don't care how slow that baby is. I just want to, like, send someone flying, <laughs> just whack him with my Makes me think claws. of the, when people resize the chickens in Skyrim and ride them. And then this is where we got to pet the dog, and I officially declared that this game is a good game because you can pet the dog. Yes. That's all I wanted. All I want in the game is to be able to pet the dog. Yeah, so like what, like we said, we cut out all the cutscenes except this one because we didn't want to bore you guys with talking over cutscenes. You know, I want to show you guys like actual gameplay. And this is where we meet Juan. Juan. You know, I my friend Mark and I went to Cancun, Mexico uh, for spring break two and a half years ago. And... The nightclub scene there is like something else. It's just, it's insane. We, we checked out some mine ruins earlier that day, and they told us about like the mine gods, and they gave us like a, a nature blessing. Oh, that's and cool. Mark didn't want it, but I took it. So I was like, "Well, Mark, if I die, I have to kill a poisoning tonight. I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell Chuck. I'll tell Chuck the mine god of the rain. You said hi. <laughs> tell him to give you some good weather. Yeah, and the uh, and the club we went to while we were there was like it charged us like eighty bucks to get in, but it was free drinks all night. Okay, that's that's pretty good for like free they drinks. They did bug us to, to to tip us more as the oh yeah, on. they of course they wanted you to tip them. Yeah, but uh, that was that was a really great vacation because my friend Mark speaks fluent Spanish because he grew up in Spain. Oh, I've never been anywhere. Well, I've been to Mexico once, and I went into it was uh, like a cruise tour, and there was like a dolphin tour thing that we went on where they had like the. Kind of, I think it's kind of cruel now of the dolphins in the little pool that you gotta oh, like yeah. pet. But then also we went to this candy shop and I got this really nasty. Oh. I don't know what it was. Look, there he is. My pillow. I There's love him. Oh. I love Guapo so much. Oh, like he, just... he just devours this man. <laughs> Does the death roll? I love it. We couldn't figure out if he's like a a gator, like a. Or an like American, American crocodile. crocodile. There's American crocodiles and there's yarn crocodiles. I yeah. guess the yarn crocodile is a fictional species, but like from a Far Cry standpoint, I don't see how the two are going to be super different. Yeah. I like how he kills him with a magazine, like partly with the magazine. He's just like, you cannot see me. Yeah. Oh, he breaks you the leg. My leg! My leg! <laughs> I love Guapo so much. Guapo is like my favorite part of this game so far. Already? <laughs> yes, like... I wonder if Herc's gonna come back. Herc is like this really stupid redneck that appears in like in every Far Cry game. <laughs> oh my god! And he's the be- he's my favorite character in the entire franchise. He's just so funny. Like you get him as a gun for hire in Far Cry Five and New Dawn. He's like the the rocket launcher specialist, <laughs> and it's like yeah, Herc been all over the world, but I never learned to do anything except blow stuff up. <laughs> I like how yeah, I like how Guapo instantly knows the people that you don't like. It's just like, you hate this man, now I hate him too. Yeah, so, again, Anna and I being like the zoology guys, it's like, how fast can crocodilians sprint on land? Because they only yeah. sprint for like short bursts. Yeah, but they they can gallop. Like, they are they got some serious speed on them. You never stand next to the edge of the water when there's a croc in the water because they can swim so fast, they'll literally just grab you and pull you in. I've seen videos of like people's dogs getting grabbed and they run in and they of course the video they get the dog back but it's so it happens so fast i'm like if that was a child 
holy shit. Oh yeah, I was always told this weird, this like this the story at church uh, in church when I was in high school about like you know there was a kid playing in Georgia and there was an alligator who snagged him and dad grabbed him by the arms. The alligator was trying to drag him under. And it was like the whole thing was scary. Like, someone showed up and, like, shot the gator. So, like, and the the kid got scars from, like, a dad tugging on his arms. Oh, wait, this is where we were trying to pet the gator. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It's like, it didn't didn't let us pet Guapo here, but it does later. And it's like, the whole story is demonstrating a fatherly love. It's like, he just would not let go of his son. Yeah, that game, I would but... be I would be really terrified if some yeah. like even if something came up and like grabbed one of my animals. I think I would probably run away. I feel bad for saying that, but like if it was a gator, I I think I'd be too terrified. No, I did have to, to remind in. the the church kids like, hey, that gator is not Satan. It's not full of evil yeah, it's, intentions. It's, it's, just, it's just hungry. Yeah, it's just doing what gators do. That's what they do. Is they wait at the ledge of the water. Yeah, so there are multiple animal companions that I assume we're gonna meet later in this game. Like, there's a chicken companion? Yeah, one of them looks like a... It's called Chickaroon. I love that. Because that's like... Isn't that Chickaroon like a flick fried pork skin? <laughs> but then there's one that looks like it might be a jaguar. Or, or a mountain lion. Or a mountain lion. Yeah. Uh, just from the outline, we couldn't really Honestly, tell very good what it is. Far Cry 4 had this DLC called Valley of the Yetis, where it's like, you get lost in this... Well, what it sounds like deep in the Himalayas, there's like this place where, like, yeah, oh, here's where we pet Guapo. Yes. You know, you give him a piece of meat because he's a good boy. He's such a good boy. But yeah, Valley of the Yetis is like you're lost, and there's this like this cult that worships Yetis that like, has to <laughs> sacrifice you. It was so much. It was so cool. My friend John and I had a blast playing it when I was when we were younger. I wonder what if there would be like a DLC where it takes you in like mainland South America and just throws you to the heart of the Amazon. Oh, forgive my roommate's dogs are barking in the background. Just very excited puppers. Yeah, I don't. Oh, it's probably my roommate. My other roommate who's coming home. Uh, anyway, but yeah, this is the part where like Juan makes you go and like kill dudes and scavenge. Yeah, stuff makes and... you do his dirty work so that he doesn't have to like, get his I shit got, back. I got my whiskey or my tequila because this is you know in South South yeah. America. So I hear that, like, tequila's not a liquor, it's just its own, like, category. Is it? I don't know. I don't know that much about alcohol. I disagree. I think it's just, like, it's liquor. Whatever it is, it's fucking good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, I send guapo out to, like, eat him. Eat him, him, yes. I like, I... I Or eat her, because it's a female soldier. I was just thinking, like, if... Like, you stood long enough back, would Guapo kill everybody for you? Because that, <laughs> it's just so funny. You <laughs> just, like, send the gator in. <laughs> yeah, oh, crocodilians, they've changed so little since the Mesozoic era. They literally look almost identical. Yeah, again, forgive us for the, you know, guests and roommates who are chattering in the background. Uh, it's, I feel like a college professor, professor trying to conduct a lecture <laughs> while kids are, like, talking over Exactly. Him. And, uh, but I'd say, you know, my birthday was a few days ago. You know, big thanks to my mom for, you know, getting me this game for my birthday and the other presents I got. It's, I'd say, despite the pandemic and all the other, like, craziness that's happened in the past, like, year and a half, I'd say 2020 and 21 have still been my two best years. They were okay for me. They were just kind of, I, the school stuff was kind of hard and like. Yeah. I worked through most of 2020, which was I think, the, yeah, pretty fun. I got to work at a job, job bathing dogs, so sometimes it was fun. Sometimes it was messy and annoying, but you know, it's working with animals, so it's always a, it's always a different experience every day, which is nice. Oh, yeah, same thing with Dogtopia. It's, like, we were so stacked today with, like, there were so many little dogs that, like, we had the bigger dogs just, like, outside all afternoon and moved all little dogs to the bigger playroom, which, you know, usually, like, our room, the little dog room is called Toy Box, and Toy Box's room is too small because of code regulations. I'm always in there by myself while everyone else is, like, is paired up or put in, like, groups of three. So being in a big room and having my coworker Katie with me today was really nice. Do the big dog or do the little dogs actually get into real like tussles more than the big dogs? Like I'd imagine the little dogs would be more aggressive towards each other because a lot Not of little really. dogs are it depends solitary. on the day and depends on the dogs as well. I guess. Yeah, I mean the little dogs are nice because like I don't have to rotate them in as much because in the bigger rooms you can't have like all dogs out at once because a lot of the bigger dogs don't like each other. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the one to break up that fight. Yeah, and we have, like, tools for that, like, bang balls, like, two metal balls that, like, clang together. Yeah. And it's also, like, a bucket, like, a bucket of dirty water you can dump on. Imagine breaking up, like, a fight between two humans with that. Like, <laughs> you probably just get your ass kicked. <laughs> my roommates are just, like, having a, are just, like, fighting and screaming at each other. It's like, guys, just shut up. And you get the bucket and just... <laughs> it's time for the bucket. It's time for, it's bath time, kid. <laughs> But yeah, this is where we are following Juan to the camp. And again, we cut last cutscene by shows us how the workbench works. And it kind of feels like The Last of Us, like part two. I watched Let's Play for that last year. I'm not, I'm not a, clearly I'm an Xbox One guy. Like, I don't play PlayStation, but I did watch Let's Play for Last of Us 2. And the, the crafting system and the mechanics for, like, improving a weapon kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. And yeah, we have less than a minute of this video. Anna, thank you so much for joining us. I had fun watching you do all this crazy stuff, and I didn't have to play, which was nice, because I enjoy the watching in the commentary because I, I'm bad at shooters. I am so bad at shooters. <laughs> yeah, I haven't like... Bye -bye. Yeah, and honestly, I'm skipping Call of Duty Vanguard this year. I'm not even getting it for Christmas. It's just, this game came out, I think, having one big shooting game at like focusing mm -hmm. on one shooting game at, at once is at a time is enough. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Yes, and thank you guys a lot for the past eight years. I got a few more videos planned pretty soon, and yeah, you guys rule. Have a fantastic night.